Hey, what's up guys? I'm um, going to talk about the new college football playoff editor for NCAA 14 that came out um, yesterday. Makes it real easy to change the, um, the way the playoff is handled in the game. Um, NCAA 14, of course, uh, when it came out, was still the BCS system. So the number one and number two teams in the BCS poll played in the national championship game. Uh, now, of course, we've got the college football playoff, uh, 14 playoff. So you can edit NCAA 14 so that you can set up that college football playoff. And I'm going to show you how that's done here real quick. Um, I actually already did it um, yesterday, so I'm not going to do it. But I'm just going to walk you through the steps real quick just to kind of show you how you do it. And then I'll show you what it looks like in the game. So you're going to download the NCAA 14 utility tool. Um, I'm not going to walk you through the setup on how to do that, but I will provide a link in this video where you can find out how to do it and how to download it and set it up. This works for PS3, Xbox 360, and the PS3 emulator on the computer, which is what I am using and what we'll be dealing with today. So we'll go ahead and open up our RPC folder and you're going to go to the DEV HDDD0 folder. You're going to go in the home and then 0001 and save data. And the only dynasty file that I have uh, is my Nebraska season, which will be this folder here. So I'm going to open that up and use your data files that you need. So just to explain real quickly uh, what happened here. So I played a, a season with Nebraska in my dynasty. They were undefeated all the way to the final game of the year against Iowa and they ended up losing that game. So they finished 11 and one in the regular season. They went to the big, 10 championship game, beat Ohio State to finish 12 and one Big Ten champions. Uh, logic would say they would probably be in the college football playoff in that scenario. However, for whatever reason, the logic in NCAA 14 had Southern California with three losses in the top four uh, and Nebraska was not in there. So we changed that to make what we felt it should have been. Of course, you can change it to whatever you want if you just want to put a team in there just to have some fun with. but. Uh, or if you want to try and make it more of what it probably should have been. So we're going to take this folder um, and click on it. I'm going to copy it and then you're going to paste it to your desktop, which I've already done. And right here it is. All right. So once that's done, you're going to open up the NCAA 14 utility tool. And then you're going to put that dynasty file in there and you will be able to edit it once it gets loaded up. So I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. It takes a few seconds. So First thing we'll do is look at the poll editor. All right, so we're gonna open the file and here it is right here on our desktop. Um, so while that loads, um, it'll pull up all three of the polls and you can switch them to anything that you want them to be or put any team where you want them to be. So if your team went 0 and 11, but you want them to be number one in the country at the end of the year, you can do that. Um, but trying to keep this realistic but so when the game ended they had Nebraska in the sixth spot they had Southern Cal uh, up I believe at either I believe maybe in the three spot but they've got three losses um, and they may have won the, the Pac-12 or I guess Pac-10 in this game championship but felt like Nebraska should have been in they had Auburn with two losses uh, up in that top four too so we just took Nebraska moved them up into the top four and as you can see, Clemson 13-0, Nebraska, Alabama, Texas, all with one loss. Um, and the way that, you, and, and this is for coaches poll, media poll as well, so they're all consistent. But the BCS poll is the one that counts for the playoff. But you can, you know, change them in any poll that you want. So you get to the BCS poll, and the way you do that, you can take your team. If you wanted Oregon to be number one, you could put Oregon up to number one. Um, so in any case, we will put... Um, Clemson back to number one and then we will put Alabama back to number three Whereas, so, and then uh, Nebraska back in but that's not I believe Nebraska actually was in third when I finished it yesterday but this is just an example I'm not going to actually save it I just wanted to show you so we're going to go that's that side or you can use these arrows and move teams like that so I'm going to back out of this get back to the main screen. So once you've saved your polls, then it's time to set up the playoff. So you're going to go into college football playoff. If you want to have a fantasy 18 playoff, you can certainly do that. But as we all know, the college football playoff is four teams. 
So step one uh, to set up the playoffs, and you can just see here the matchups are one and four, two and three, with the correct semifinal locations based on the year. So we'll again open our dynasty file, user data file on our desktop. And once that loads up, you'll see that the playoffs um, will be set up. It might look a little different. Uh, let's see. Since I was just playing around with the polls. Nope, there it is. So that's the way I had it saved yesterday. So Clemson and Alabama will play in the Peach Bowl. And Texas and Nebraska are in the Fiesta Bowl. Uh, once you've got that set, you click your arrow forward. And that's confirming that's what you want. You click the check mark. Then it's going to take you to the bowl screen. Here it shows all the bowls. You can edit any bowl matchup that you want, um, except for the college football playoffs. So you can see Alabama Clemson and Nebraska Texas here. You cannot edit those, but any other bowl, um, you can change or edit the matchup that you want. Um, just click on Edit Matchup, click on the team, and you can go find whatever team you want to put in there. If the team you select is already in another bowl game, they will just swap them out. Okay, so you can see how that works. And then once you've done all that, you would hit save and it would save that file on your desktop. So let's go ahead and get out of this and then I will meet you back in the game to show you how that is looks in the game. I did forget one more thing before we get into the game. Um, you would have to take this file um, that you saved back on your desktop click on it, you would hit copy or cut, and then you would paste it back into your dynasty file. But uh, it's already been done, so I'm not gonna actually save it in there. Just wanted to show that part to you. I'll meet you back in the game. All right, we are back in the game now. Um, and one other thing I did want to mention before you edit your playoff file, you do need to advance your season to bowl week. So if you're done with your conference championship games, you've got to be at the uh, bowl season week um, for that to work correctly. So we're in there and you can see now Nebraska is set to play Texas in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, number two versus number three. Um, then you can go in and you can you know, simulate or play. Um, you can play it or sim it, whichever you want to do. Once you are done with that, you're going to go back out uh, and go through the same process and set up your national championship game in the uh, editor. So once that's done, you would just pull the dynasty ball back out again, go into the playoff editor, um, and then your national championship game should be set. And you can make sure that's correct and the correct team is in the right spot, save the file back into the game, and then you can play your national championship game. So, um, just wanted to show you folks um, how that editor works and kind of an equal tool to get the college football playoff into NCAA 14. I'll leave some links down below where you can find all the stuff you need to get that set up. And thanks for watching. Take care.